Good morning, Captain Squeegee here. Um, I'm going to be talking to you again about how to make things better for your round. Depending on how you do it, you might have a mega professional outfit with a huge 1,000 litre tank in your van, that's great. How you afford the fuel for that, I'll never know. However, I use a backpack on a trolley. Um, after watching a few of Wagger's videos, I found that a really great way to go ahead. This is the backpack I use on this trolley here. I hope you can see this okay. And that's worked well for about a year and a half. One of the problems I find, <clears throat> if we just come down and have a look, is these sack barrels are around £30, but the, the wheels wobble and the solid nature of solid tyres really shakes the bones out of the electronics of these uh, backpacks. And uh, what I thought to do was, we'll leave this as a, how it is, but we'll actually buy another one of these and we'll improve it because that's what engineers do. So, if we have a look over here, it's not completed 100% yet, but I'm in the process of doing this. And um, at the moment, uh, I'm actually, this is the, the next sack barrel, exactly what we just looked at, if you look, uh, except I've angle grinded two slots above the original um, axle, and I've also cut the axle down. I'll just show you. These are the bits that I've taken off the end. Can you get that all right? So basically I've shortened the original axle. Now, what I'm then going to do, if I just take this out of the vise for a second, we've now got a drill and tap. I'll just put that in there. We're going to drill and tap the shaft, okay? Just get it in line and just show you what I've done. So, basically a bolt, which I've got over here, which I'll just get for you. These stainless steel, uh, 50 mil. Um, we'll put that there, maybe you can have a look at that on the film. And these are gonna go straight through the, the two shafts. So effectively we're piggybacking, we've got two shafts, okay? And we're gonna bolt this solidly. It's gotta be as strong as a weld because once we get the backpack on, it's gonna be really heavy. So that's gotta be tapped over a bit. I'm just gonna do this to show you. There we go. That should screw straight down. This will screw down and basically bolt on like this, okay? I'm just this is just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> Instead of those solid tyres that we previously looked at, see this? Now what we'll need to do is put a spacer on, which we're gonna do like this, which will basically work out. Once I've got a bolt, that'll be work out in that position, alright? And uh, we'll put a new split pin on and we're going to have our pneumatic tyres on a £30 sack barrow. And um, this is one way round of converting a small sack barrow to have uh, pneumatic tyres. Now you might think, why not just buy a pneumatic sack truck? Well, because it won't do this. Reduce the height with the backpack on so you can fit it into a small van. The sack barrow is going to be a lot higher than even that. And that means you have to have a big van and you come into fuel economy again. So hopefully, I shall do some more videos, you'll see me complete this project, and if you wish, you'll be able to copy it. What, what things will you need to do? Well, drilling's quite difficult. If you don't know what you're doing, just take your time <clears throat> and accept that you've got to do one at a time. Oh. <laughs> there we go, put this in the vise. And at the moment, I'm just checking these holes are, are threaded properly. I've done, I've just got to check this one's through, so we'll just run this through. This is a tap and die set. This is a tap and this is a tap holder. They come in different shapes and sizes, but basically it's a way of creating a hole with a thread so you can put the bolt through. And this is a very strong way of joining two shafts together. That one's absolutely fine. And every time this tap goes through, you create a thread gently and uh, you then clean the, the debris off like this. So um, this one's got to be tapped as well. Also, in here we'll need to be made sure that's okay. So we'll just run those through. And what, with tap and dies, you've got to make sure everything's clean and threaded nicely. And just, if it gets tight, back it off. Um, but the aim of this project really is to put pneumatic tyres on this. And um, so that in the course of a week, you can get more work done, i.e. more revenue, and, and that's a good project. So, that's all for now. 
and uh, we'll catch up with this project a little bit later when we've got a completed job. Bye-bye.